What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got the superstar fam in the building. How's it going, fam? How much is this symbiote going to be going for in the secondary market? We're going to look into that just now. But don't forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we do some price predictions for your faces. Been trying to bring them back a little bit more. Uh, some pretty hype drops coming out here with the, the Gwen Stacy Gold Spider. And now we got the symbiote on top of the light pole. Um, what are you guys thinking? I've seen mixed reactions all over the the, the social media but uh we're gonna find out also if you want you can become a superstar vip member get one of these stars next to your name you get access to one of these spreadsheets that you're gonna see here in just a little bit but also you're gonna win a star in the universe entered into our giveaways at the end of every month it is a ton of fun you can also follow us on x join our discord follow us on instagram all the good stuff i'm not even gonna tell you about the discord anymore if you're not in there you are completely missing out at this at this point fomo is real when it comes to Discord's called Discord FOMO. Uh, exactly. So um also gonna show you a little bit of Twitter news. We got a cryptoys um what do you call it? Twitter spaces next week at noon on Wednesday. So this week coming up. Um and you can see our little logo there actually. Um I mean shout out to Matt for for putting us in the banner there. But uh Wednesday at 12 noon, we're back collecting in the digital world with Cryptoys team, so can't wait to do that. Uh, you got any questions? That's always a great way or a great place to ask them. Jump up on stage, ask the questions you got to ask, and we'll hear the answers we want to hear. Um, addiction, addiction comic. This is a VV video. We're talking about this coming to VV. Looks like there are six comic covers here, but I think there are seven in total, uh, and there will be a crafting cover, um, which is pretty cool. You're gonna see addiction comic two will include crafting. Uh, I think you have to have the ultra rare and the uncommon, which are the two VV variants. I think these two here, uh, the the red and the blue one, that is the ones. And then you get the seeker rare, which has VV in the stars, obviously using stars as homage to superstar money. Um, we just know that that's how they do over there. So very cool. Also got to show this off. I don't know if you guys saw this video or not, but utility, 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 utility. You tell had to post that because shout out to um Duroy and the Sui team at um the London police sending out for having the complete set on Vivi. You're getting some utility. I got a physical, a physical ship to me, all right, from Europe ship to me. A physical. I didn't even open this yet. It is, but I want you guys to see this packaging. Hold on here. Hold on. We gotta make we gotta make ourselves large and in charge here. This was what was in that little sleeve there. Look at this. Look at the quality. This box by itself, that's enough utility for me. I got, look at this, magnets. Look, watch. You see that? Look at this. Incredible. I know. You guys are watching that on repeat because it's so satisfying. The box got some nice artwork on it. So I've already got a nice little art piece from the London Police. You open it up. Look how satisfying this is. I told you. I didn't open it yet. Look at that. You got the Sui little tag there. And uh, I, I don't even want to open this. So... So nicely packaged, but at the same time, I want to wear what's inside. So let's see that. We got a nice little t-shirt right here. Check that out. Check that out. I got the London Police t-shirt. You know I'm going to be wearing this in future videos. The back. This is just for holding a set, guys. This is just for holding a set. They're doing utility. So you know we have to support the utility. Um, and it's signed. I just realized this is this is a signed shirt. So you got you got autographs from from the London Police on the shirt, guys. Signed T-shirt. I can't even watch this. What am I doing? I, don't, I, I gotta talk to these guys. How do how do I do this? Do I just wear it and then never wash it? We do have the one when we went to Decon that is an unwashed shirt um, that we wore a couple times. So I don't know. Do I frame this now? What, what I mean, this is such a sick shirt. I want to wear it. And look at the quality. Look at this. Look at it. I never seen one with the medium tag right there on that side. Like incredible London police, even on the back there. Like this is high, high quality stuff. You know what I mean? Who cares wins estimated 1998. Then inside there is also a barcode, which I'm not going to show you because I don't know what that does. And another barcode. This might bring you to the website on this side. But anyway, another little piece of art that I'm going to display in my new setups over here that we got um, in the back there. I got to scan these barcodes. I don't know what they do. But uh, very, very cool. All about utility, physical or not. Um, just bringing more value to ownership of our collectibles. Um, and they did a really unique way of proving uh, that ownership. They they made you post it in your 
uh, bio. And then they did a couple other things for verification purposes, but this is what it's about. This, not not the physical, but the utility is what it's about. And that, that makes me want to hold those things in, for the future. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do, but I know that they are willing to uh, test some things out, it seems. So uh, I always like to support the, those types of things. I mean, Gold Dragon Club, another great example. I'm in there. Been getting all kinds of utility. I showed you my Italian comic. Do you guys have Italian comics? I know. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to owe me on the regular. This is the way. This is the way. I mean, anything else is less. Anything else is less. Let's go over this in bio drop. Everyone's here. They want to know what's it going for in the secondary market. By the way, we nailed that ghost spider. The ghost spider, I think we had like a 34 gem price. Um, and it was there for a while. While now it has dipped down below 30. It's like 28 gems. But we did call below retail on that. And we did call the sellout. Um, Symbiote, 50 gems. 50 gems. 25, 20 editions. Minimum 5,000 MCP. First available mint 41. This is what it looks like. All right. It does not have the problem of the unmasking that we saw on the Gwen Stacy ghost spider. It does not have the problem of the wobbly web around it. The animation is pretty decent on this one. His legs, his knees are in pain. All right. He's been squatting like this. When did I bring this up? Three days ago? He's been squ squatting like this for three days. His kneecaps are about to explode off of his body. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's very clean, very smooth. And I will guarantee you, made by the same 3D artists that made the Gwen Stacy. Because with the mask on, Gwen Stacy looking very cool uh, as Ghost Spider. Um, without the mask on, it's debatable. Debatable, debatable. All right. So we see the picture here. But now we're going to pull up the market cap analysis. This is the VIP spreadsheet, by the way, if you guys want access to this. Um, it also has like your odds and all this stuff in there. So uh, if you want that, you become a VIP member. And you'll get the full-blown access if not there is a free version in the description below um helping you to determine how you should go for draw but this again very made up by us uh and we just edit it from time to time so last time we did the ghost spider right we uh we pulled the elsa data because elsa was like a one-off that wasn't an fa we used that as our comparable we had like a sixty thousand market cap we said maybe ghost spider a little bit more uh of uh of a draw on this on this app also uh, it was animated version. It was, uh, it, there was a couple things that made it a little bit more sought after. There's also been a busier time. Like people are, seem to be enjoying the app a little bit more right now. So we gave it a multiple of 1.25. Now we move over. And I think the best comparable for ghost, for the symbiote is the ghost spider because it's very recent, very near term, short memory for, for the fam. And uh, I think this makes the most sense. So ghost spider now is trading at 28.9 gems. Okay, 2,200 editions. That gives you a market cap of 63,580. And the box was 40. This did sell out, okay? So this did sell out. There are 2,520 editions of the Symbiote. Now, I think a lot of people are going to look at this as first appearance because it is first appearance of the, the suit, right? So not necessarily first appearance label like on, on the data over here. But this is the first time you're seeing that suit. So if people do value that, I mean, and we saw it a little bit with the comic, though that comic was the scarcest comic on the app, which gave it that added value. Um, I do think a lot of people will enjoy this. I don't think this is going to sell out as quickly as Gwen Stacy's um, Ghost Spider did. Um, but I do think this will sell out. I think, uh, I think the animation is good enough. I think that a lot of people will enjoy how it looks. I think the light pole thing, using it in the VV verse, that type of thing, they have... They have, they, I think it'll sell out. I think that there's there's some fun things that people can do with it. I just think the 50, a little bit more expensive, that's probably the reason why it might take a little bit longer. Also, Ghost Spider had an FA already on the app. This, if you consider, or if anybody considers Symbiote as its own character, this is the FA. Um, and some people might even look at it like, yo, this is the FA of suit that turns into, like, of the Venom. Who knows? Down the line, they're going to say, what came out first? Uh, so I do think that there will be a draw to this. I do see a little bit of hype out there. Um, a little bit harder to stack at that 50 box price. So uh, it might take a little bit longer to sell out. Let's assume it sells out, okay? Let's assume it sells out. I think that's the, the route I'm going here. I give it a 1.5 multiple over Ghost Spider. Now, why am I doing that much of a multiple over Ghost Spider um, in terms of market cap, right? So um, I think that the animation is better. I think it has a way better animation. 
I think also it not having that um, character beforehand that has the FA tag on it, um, even though this one is Spider-Man is going to have the FA tag on it, I think that this likeness, there's nothing else like it on the app. This is the first time you're seeing it in this suit. Um, so I think that that gives it a little bit more value than the Ghost Spider. I think also the Ghost Spider, the 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 whole way that that played out with how it looks and the, the wavy web, I think that does take away from it compared to this one here, which I think is a better animation. Could it have been better? Yes. It could have done something where he stood up or he, he unbends his legs, like his kneecaps, anybody. Nobody caring about the knees right now. But anyways, um, I think I think it does have the edge in terms of collectible versus collectible if you were to look at it that way. Um, in terms of popularity, Ghost Spider probably a little bit more popular right now um, because this is like something Peter Parker, old Spider-Man, uh, that type of deal, old storyline. But I don't know. It could be. I could be way out to lunch. I could be giving it too high of a market cap. But I think if this sells out at 50 gem, like they priced it higher, they expect higher return on this. Um, and I think the Spider-Man in itself always any any variants of Spider-Man, uh, they do get a lot of respect. Um, when's the last time there was a Peter Parker Spider-Man drop? Was it must have been the Mighties, right? So um, I think I think if it does sell out. I'm going to give it a higher market cap than Ghost Spider. I think it might draw a little bit more attention only because the FA and the animation on the Ghost Spider are kind of underwhelming. Um, so let's get that market cap revealed. Boom. All I did, this times 1.5 gives me this. Okay. So that gives me my 95, 370. So a little bit more money coming into this drop. IMO, in my opinion, might take a little longer, like we said, to sell out. Uh, anyway, by the time that sells out, and everything filters on. People are selling, undercutting, undercutting. What does that end up giving us as our price prediction? 37.85. This is going to be over a 10 gem undercut uh, if we do see a sellout here. And if we have 95,000 as our market cap. So me being generous with the market cap, giving it a one and a half times that of the Ghost Spider current floor, that gives us a 37.85. So the writing is on the wall that this should be under box um with these numbers i feel like i'm being very generous here with this market cap compared to what we are seeing on the ghost spider drop um which is a more current character a lot more people um may have that potential value for ghost spider than they do for symbiote because the storyline's already been played out but ghost spider has a very very big potential future right so um you guys let me know am i too low here because in order to get a number at box price um it, it would have to be something pretty crazy, right? It would have to be like 125,000 and that, that'll that put you right there, right? So um, I don't see that much money coming into this collectible. I don't see it being double what Ghost Spider was. Uh, I'm going to keep my, my number there at 95. I think it might even be a little bit less than that uh, in the long term. But I think around 38 gems is not the craziest thought. Uh, we can see here we're down about 12 gems from box. So being around 12 gems down, uh, from box on the symbiote might not be the craziest thing to think now how many mcp points are you going to have to use we were way off last time last time we did this my price prediction uh, i said maybe fifteen thousand mcp points might be required and we were seeing people successful with the minimum bid so a minimum five thousand people were successful um so i don't know that's not the average obviously it's probably a little bit above that because there are people who were successful with more uh, people, there could have been people who really wanted the Ghost Spider put up forty thousand. They're going to get it. So the average win doesn't necessarily mean the minimum, right? So the minimum we know was five thousand. I've seen reports of people getting it with five thousand. So I'm going to use that five thousand as my data point. Uh, I'm going to compare the total reserved editions. So I think it might be like a thousand and eight editions or something like that. If you do exactly forty uh, percent on this drop, last time there was around eight hundred and eighty. When you compare those two. You got a 1.13 uh, ratio if you compare it to the lucky drop, which I think is a little bit less relatable. Uh, it's a 2.12 uh, ratio. So instead of doing that, I'm using that. That would be uh, the price prediction if you use that one. Uh, sorry. And then this one here would have been, where did I get that 42,000 from? Oh, yeah, 42,000 points. That was the average there. So if we were to go like 5,000 divided by this 1.13, um, you're getting around four four thousand, uh, so that's that's a little bit uh, too low. Obviously, I think I did it backwards. My bad. Anyway, regardless, my price prediction or my prediction for MCP is going to be eight thousand points. Um, I think it might take a little bit more points. There's a thousand that are reserved. It's only a hundred more. 
Uh, if we do think that there's one and a half times the amount of demand on this, as we mentioned above, and the 98, the 95,000 market cap, then I think that maybe it'd be one and a half times the MCP required uh, as there was last time. It could be 5,000 again because there's a lot. There's a thousand of them. And I wouldn't be surprised if, the, if you win by just going for the minimum MCP. So if you're on the fence, you're not sure, and you don't want to go crazy, don't want to waste a lot of MCP points, put up the minimum if you really want this thing. Uh, and you might have a good chance. I think the odds are over 50% if you have... Uh, if you have the minimum up there, because just a, there's so many of them, there's a thousand of them, right? Uh, that are going to be reserved for MCP. So uh, you probably have good shot. I don't think everybody loves the animation. I don't think everybody cares for the character. Uh, I think a lot more people might have cared about the ghost spider, uh, but didn't like the animation, didn't like that it wasn't FA. So balancing act, we're doing our best guess here. That's what this is. Obviously, it's never financial advice, it's just us. Uh, estimating, assuming you can get a whale come in, buy 300 of them and and manipulate the price too, right? Because we're down to like very, very small edition sizes and uh, that we see all the time. We see it with a bunch of different collectibles on the app and especially when they get super duper scarce. So these are not really to that scarcity where, uh, and especially at the 50 gem price, a little bit harder to stack them. Um, so it might be a little bit uh, of uh, less opportunity for manipulation on this one, uh, but always could happen you never know so let me know in the comments what do you think am i out to lunch 38 gems am i going crazy is it going to sell out is it not going to sell out do you guys like the animation i think it's clean i think people are going to like the animation um overall i think the one and a half times uh demand probably right in the ballpark but uh, i want to hear from you guys and i want to know your price predictions in the comments down below guys um, if you haven't already, do not forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification so you see the next price prediction, whenever that is. And guys, we'll see you soon, soon. I love you.